how I got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a love hate story. My story starts with not sleeping and a pain in my shoulder and neck. I thought I was just anxious or stressed, which I was, <laughs> but that wasn't what was causing what I was experiencing. So when people ask me about first symptoms, I always talk about the pain in my neck and shoulder and my not sleeping. Uh, what did I do about it? Well, I went and saw my doctor. I actually didn't have a doctor. I went and found just like a regular primary care physician and he did what a really thorough physical exam and what I now know is a neurological exam and ran a bunch of tests and they all came back negative. So I knew that he was thinking this was something, you know, anxiety related. Um, but he, because I was having shoulder pain, he sent me to physical therapy because I had had a scan of my shoulder done and it was negative. And this is kind of the important thing to remember about Parkinson's, like on your journey to a diagnosis, all the normal tests are going to come back negative. If they come back positive, then it's not Parkinson's, it's something else. So the doctors get kind of reassured by that, like, oh, it's all negative, so it's all good. But meanwhile, my symptoms were getting worse. And in the beginning, you don't know that your symptoms are symptoms. You just have all this weird stuff happening to your body. Um, by then, I had started to get a little bit of a, not even like a tremor, like a pulsing in my hand, which eventually became kind of like a little occasional tapping. I think people think with the tremor that you just wake up and all of a sudden you're shaking. For me, it wasn't like that. It was very gradual. Um, it, I had what's called an internal tremor, which is like I felt like I was shaking inside, but nothing was actually shaking. So for sure, if you go to the doctor and you're like, I'm shaking inside, they're like, okay. <laughs> um, but it is a common first symptom that I had and I still have it. Um, I was probably originally thought to have essential tremor, which is a more common condition than Parkinson's, especially in someone my age. Um, but that got ruled out eventually. I, after my, all my tests came back negative, uh, specifically asked to go see a neurologist. And when I went and saw the neurologist, um, as is normally the case, they ordered a DAT scan, but I actually never had the DAT scan, although I kind of wish that I had, it would have saved a lot of time. Um, I was diagnosed uh, initially entirely on my walk. So my right arm had stopped swimming, swinging when I walked. I didn't even know that was a thing. Nobody even noticed that. And uh, my right foot was dragging a little bit. And again, I didn't notice that too. Like I noticed that my foot was dragging. Sometimes people at my work would say like, pick up your feet or we can always hear you coming down the hallway because like your feet you're, you're dragging your foot <laughs> or your shoe is squeaking on the tile, but I didn't think anything of it. I kind of just thought I was lazy. So I would tell myself like, pick up your feet, girl, you're so lazy. <laughs> um, but obviously now I know those were all symptoms of Parkinson's. So when it comes to getting a diagnosis, it can be a really long and stressful process. The one thing that you have to remind yourself is the goal of the diagnosis is that you get some kind of treatment that makes you feel a little bit better. Even though there's no real treatment for Parkinson's, there are things that we can do to feel better with it. And so the sooner you get a diagnosis, the sooner you can get started doing those things that are going to make you able and feel better living with Parkinson's. As always, I hope this helps.